हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज शोभना शर्मा योर कंप्यूटर टीचर फ्रॉम कंप्यूटर फैकल्टी एट माउंट लिट्रा जी स्कूल झांसी वेलकम बैक टू योर कंप्यूटर क्लास टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आर न्यू चैप्टर that is chapter number 7 basic features of text editor in this chapter we will learn point number 1 what is a text editor point number 2 how to open any type of text editor point number 3 write the shortcut keys of different commands point number 4 how to use copy and paste command point number 5 how to use cut and paste command and at last we will discuss definitions of different commands now we will discuss every point accordingly the first comes what is a text editor an application which enables us to write and make changes to the text it means an application software which helps us to write and make changes to the text is called a text editor as you can see in this below picture the domestic animals are been showing so different domestic animals are written below it so this is a simple text editor and which we can make changes we can write into it next comes how to open any type of text editor to open any type of text editor click on all programs then accessories and then text editor children as you can see this is the complete pictures which shows how to open a text editor so children first what you are going to do you will click on all programs then you will go to accessories and then you can open any type of text editor next comes write the shortcut keys of different commands first is cut the shortcut key for cut command is control plus x children this ctrl is called the control key it is available on the keyboard second is copy ctrl plus c that is control plus c third is paste control plus v fourth is save control plus s fifth is print control plus p sixth is undo control plus z and the last is redo command control plus shift plus z the shift key is also available in the keyboard now comes how to use copy and paste command in this portion we will discuss the complete four steps how we can use copy and paste command so first step is move the cursor to the beginning of the word to be copied and select the word second is click on copy third is move the cursor to the place where you want the word and at last click on paste 
these complete four steps says that how we can copy a word from one location and then we can paste that word into a different location now comes how to use cut and paste command so children these are the four steps by which we can cut a word from one location and then we can paste that word into some other different location first step move the cursor to the beginning of the word to be cut and select the word second step click on cut fourth step move the cursor to the place where you want the word and at last click on the paste now comes definitions of different commands first is cut command an option that removes the selected text or images from its original position so cut command is used when we want to remove the text or any image from its original position second is copy command an option that creates a duplicate of text or an image it means whenever we want to create multiple copies of any image or a picture that time we use a copy command next comes paste command an option that inserts text or image at the required place children it means whenever we want to insert any text or image into the required place that time we use a paste command fourth point undo command an option used to reverse the last action children undo command is used whenever we want to reverse the last action fifth is redo command an option used to reverse the last undo action children this is very much important to remember redo command is used when we want to reverse the last undo action remember undo action that means undo one time we have done then again we are doing means twice we are doing undo action that is called a redo command now it is the time for the homework so today's homework is dear parents kindly help your ward to read chapter 7 carefully from the computer book now it is an humble appeal to the parents dear parents kindly help your ward to read the chapter carefully as you are the bridge between the teacher and the students now at last stay safe stay at home sanitize yourself take care of your family and yourself and do study in this pandemic period Thank you